What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Moon Walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we went through a little bit of a side quest, talking about my little break that I've, uh, I've taken, and, uh, well, you know, I came through, did everything what I said I was supposed to do, and that is, you know, capture some Pokemon, uh, train some my, my team, and on top of that, make a few good decisions for, you know, for this whole walkthrough right here, so... Let's go right ahead and take a look at our, our team right now. So as you can see, we do not uh, have Ultra Psycho here anymore because I've decided that now it's, now it's a good time to actually evolve Puka. Now, I did trade my Pokemon back and forth to Pokemon Sun, grab some of the items I had in Sun to go over here. Kind of wanted to showcase it. The other thing too is we're bringing back Terra Rough because you know what? There's a reason why we nicknamed this Pokemon. I kind of want to see it through again. This team is not permanent, but we will see what we, we can get at the end of the day. And the other thing, too, is we got ourselves an egg from Pokemon Sun. I think it was a... Uh, I think it's a good idea. A very, very good idea to actually have this egg right next to our good old buddy Inferno Blade. Because uh, you guys are going to be surprised. Very, very surprised. Don't want to wait any longer. Might as well do it. So, let's go right ahead and go straight... It's straight down to the Thunderstone. We got ourselves a Thunderstone from our counterpart in Pokemon Sun. And I think it's a good time to actually use it for Puka right here. So here it is, guys. We are finally evolving Puka. Do not worry. I can get this Pokemon uh, traded back into, uh, into Sun and teach it some other moves. But right now, I kind of wanted to do it because it's only appropriate. Look at this. The evolution, and there it is, guys. We've got ourselves in Alolan Raichu. Finally! I've always wanted to use this Pokemon. That's why I named it Puka, especially with its blue eyes and all that stuff. So let's go right ahead and take a look at its uh, Pokedex entry right here. So as you can see, we got Raichu, the Alolan version. And, it, well, look at that. It's all in red. Saw it through. Let's go right ahead and uh, read its page right here. So it says right here, it uses psychokinesis to co control electricity. It hops abroad its own tail using the psychic power to lift the tail and move while uh, move while riding it. Pretty cool move. Very, very awesome. Now, after evolving into an Alolan Raichu, it is now learning psychic attack. So that right there pretty much puts uh, Ultra Psycho at an... Uh, at at an, uh, well, it puts uh, Ultra Psycho somewhere else. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take away Sweet Kiss and teach it Psychic. Yes, I did teach it, uh, what was it called, uh, Wild Charge while I was uh, off screen and all that stuff. So there it is, guys. We got ourselves in a Lolan Raichu. We got Terror Rough back. And we got ourselves an egg that's going to be right next to Flachinder or Flakinder, whatever you name it. And uh, we're going to continue our adventure right here. Again... I planned this all ahead, guys. That Pokemon egg is going to be somebody familiar. So, what is going to happen now is we're going to continue our adventure right here, grabbing some stuff like Zygar cubes, and uh, we're going to be grabbing items, getting out of this volcano area right here. Probably what we should have done in the last episode right here. And let's see. We got ourselves a charcoal, and now we're going to be meeting up with some trainers right here. I'm the prettiest of these seismic sisters, a trio of siblings who love, love, love volcanoes. This path here leads to the right side of the volcano, just so you know. Oh, okay. So we're going to the right side of the volcano, and uh, I do see... I think I saw something right there. Huh. Okay, so let's go right ahead and uh, move out of the way right here. And, well, here we are, the other Seismic Sister. And she's like, I'm the most charming of the Seismic Sister, a trio of siblings who love, love, love volcanoes. This path leads to the left side of the volcano, just so you know. Okay. So, let's see. I don't know where, where I'm at. It's dark right here. There's a... Well, there's an entry. And yes, there's going to be a trainer right here. So, let's go right ahead and actually... Yeah, you know what? We got Puka right in front. Let's go right ahead and just start battling some trainers with our new Pokemon right here. So, here it is. Allow me to show you the Ace Kadabra of an Ace Trainer. Now, I understand, guys. I understand that, you know, I put some time and effort to Ultra Psycho, but do not worry, guys. 
This is the reason why we have Pokemon Sun, and that is to, you know, at least... What was it? To at least... To at least train these Pokemon when I don't have time. Obviously, after this break right here, I will not have time to do anything else except just, you know, focus on the stuff right here. So, I might as well... I might as well use, uh, what was it, uh, Pokemon Sun for some kind of thing. Especially gaining levels, getting some money, and getting some Pokemon stuff. And look at that, Terra Ruff is learning Rock Throw. And, well, let's see, let's go right ahead and take away Tackle Attack right here. I've always wanted to use Terra Ruff. Didn't know if I could use it now, but now, you know, again, Pokemon Sun. It's a benefit to to this whole, uh, this whole walkthrough right here. So, let's see, we got that taken care of. And, well, let's see. There's nothing else except a TM is right there. Kind of want to get that. And kind of want to look everywhere for items and stuff. There's nothing right here. There's nothing right there. Okay, so let's go, go ahead and grab that TM. And as you can see, found ourselves a TM39 Rock Tomb. And, well, we're just going to be moving on right here. Let's go ahead and move on. There's nothing right here. And... We're going to be getting attacked by a Pokemon. Always so fun to get attacked by a Pokemon. And here we have a Wild Sandalit. Again, there are two kinds. It's kind of like a Combi where, you know, if you get a female version, it will evolve. The male version will stay the same. So, if you guys want to collect that, that's fine. You know, have that for your collection and all that. And, well, let's see. You can go right there. But I kind of want to go right here to battle that guy. And, of course, get attacked by some Pokemon. And who might attack us? Uh, Fletchling. Just another Pokemon ready to just destroy us, but really, no. Puka's got it all handled right here. This is, uh, this is some good stuff right now. Let's see. Let's go ahead and move on right here. And damn it, why couldn't we just jump off that ledge? You know what? Let's go ahead and let's bring out Joker. I did. I actually did train him just a little bit in Pokemon Sun just so... You know, it can actually be up to levels. Notice the, a, a, a quick thing right here. Notice something, and that is that... Fuck. You know, capturing the Pokemon that I've been capturing... Because I've been, I've been playing Pokemon Sun, guys. Capturing the Pokemon that I've captured in uh, Pokemon Sun quite a few times, it actually does benefit your levels, and it actually, you know... Well, it kind of dictates everything for, for what you do right here. Uh, when I captured all the legend, or when I captured all the Pokemon right here, uh, well, when I captured all the Pokemon in Pokemon Sun, it actually helped my Pokemon's levels and, and, and whatnot, and it made it a little bit easier for my adventure, but since I've been playing Pokemon Moon, I wasn't even capturing anything because I was just getting ahead with the story right here, and now that, you know, with, with, with the break that I'm having, yes... We will be seeing a little bit more uh, leveling up, a little more Pokemon getting captured and all that stuff. And, well, here we go with Machop ready to attack us. And this guy looks less than buff and all that crud. Now, there are some Pokemon that I did trade to Pokemon uh, Moon and then back just so I could train my Pokemon right here. And that was the Evolve Forms, the, the Pokemon that, the original Pokemon that trade, uh, that evolved through trade like Gengar, Machamp, and who else? Gengar, Machamp, and... I didn't trade a Golem, but I did trade a, a Scizor. So, yeah, some some Pokemon that you know you can add to your Pokédex, including Pokemon uh, exclusives from Pokemon Sun. So, I wasn't being a slouch right here, guys. So here we go, jumping off these ledges, and we're gonna be finding an item right here. And look at this, we grabbed ourselves a Burn Heal, and who is this? I'm the cutest of the Seismic t uh, Sisters, a trio of siblings who love, love, love volcanoes. This cave here leads to the top of the volcano, just so you know. Okay, so I think I think we've made oh wait, there's a still there's still a Pokemon trainer right here. So let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon. Uh you know what? Dumb trunk. I want to use dumb truck right here. Now I'm still used to just going into these uh going into the options and switching out the Pokemon without pressing Y. So that that's another reason why we're just <laughs> doing some stuff. Oh my gosh, I've got to see Kawhi's Fiery Dance Pokemon. I think I've already... Yeah, I've already I've already taken on these people right here. So, yeah, let's get the heck out of here. It's time for us to move on into Route 8, I think. And that is behind the sign. And... Here we go. 
Getting attacked by a Cubone. Now, I could capture this Cubone. It will evolve into its uh, in Alolan form right here. I think I kind of want to. And yes, look at this. I did teach Dump Truck quite a few new moves because uh, the other moves were less than stellar and all that crud. And there we go with the nice Shadow Ball and did everything right there. So let's go ahead and capture this Cubone. Just key, just put it to the collection and all that. Alrighty. And will it stay? Can it stay? And it does. Yeah, buddy. Okay. Alrighty. So there we go with another Pokemon onto our uh, our collection, and everybody's gaining levels, which is great. And look at that, the Cubone, looking like a million bucks right there. Cubone will eventually evolve into a Lolan uh, Marowak, which is a ghost and fire type. And well, let's see, the skull it wears on its head is of its uh, is that of its dead mother. Well, I pressed the button a little too quickly, so yes, it's the same entry. Let us move on. It is time for us to. Uh, it is time for us to move on right here, okay? So, here we go. And here we are, Route 7, going into Route 8. Before we do anything, I, I, I again, curious mind. Let's see if I don't, if, let's see if I didn't miss anything. Well, didn't really miss anything. It is nighttime, guys, so I can actually get some stuff. Like, I can actually get some, uh, hold on just a sec. Okay, before we do anything, it is nighttime. Oh crap, baskets! I pressed the same place. It is nighttime. I'm gonna go fly back to the the royal, uh, the battle royal area. I think that's what it's called. Yeah, the battle royal area, and uh, I'm gonna see if I can actually find some uh, uh, Zygarde cubes, because uh, I did mention this pr in previous episodes. You can actually get Zygarde cubes at night as well. So that right there makes the hunt just a little bit more, uh, a little bit more intriguing and whatnot. So here we are, back into whatever area we're at, and look at this, the Royal Avenue. So this is nighttime, and there we go, we're finding some uh, Zygarde cubes. Now I don't, I'm not keeping track of all the uh, the Zygarde cubes that I've collected. I just know that you know you can find some stuff, you can find them uh, at nighttime, but I think that was the only one at night. And well, let's see, is there anything else that we can actually find right here? Nope, there was one right there, which I think was the daytime. So, yeah, we found one. Should probably move on. God damn, why do they, why do they have to scatter all these things right here? So, another thing too, guys, it's worth mentioning, but Inferno Blade does have, it does have the ability. What was it called again? Flame Body. That actually speeds up the whole uh, egg hatching right here. Now this egg is going to take a while to actually hatch. It is a very, very, very powerful Pokemon. You guys are going to be very, uh, very intrigued. Well, not intrigued. You're not going to be very surprised. Very. <laughs> All right, so let's go straight. Let's get the heck out of here. Oh, that's the Fire MZ. Congratulations on clearing Kawhi's trial. In that case. Yes, we are moving on ahead right here. And here you go, you're free to pass. Captain Malo's trial is up ahead. Go along Route 8 and you'll find it. Lush Jungle. Lush Jungle it is. Alrighty. Let us move on right here into Lush Jungle. And, well, look at this. And look at that. I see a Zygarde Cube in the horizon right there. Not in the horizon, but right there. Look at this. We found another Zygarde Cube. And, let's see. Go ahead and talk to the people right here. What's that? You want to battle uh, me even when I'm using full force? Fine. Then beat every other trainer on Route 8, and then, and then we can talk. Oh, so you 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 think you're special? Okay. Alrighty. Let's see what this lady's all about. Do you use Pokemon Refresh? Those Poke Beans that you can that you can uh, give your Pokemon in a Pokemon Refresh can actually be collected in the Poke the Pelagio or Pelago. Did you know that? Not really. I really didn't knew that, guys. Okay, so let's see. Let us move on right here. There is a red flag ahead of us, and I think there's somebody waiting for there. And he's like, you there! Would you look at that? Oh, excuse me, I am a scientist. My name is Chorus. 
the theme of my research is bringing out the potential of Pokemon. What brings you out, uh, or what brings out the Pokemon, or the power of Pokemon is, I believe that is, the bond they share with their trainers. And thus my attention is drawn to trainers like yourself. Trainers bound to their Pokemon through the power of the Z-Ring. Now that I think of it, I never asked your name. Draven is it? I'll remember your name. To commemorate our encounter, let us, let me give you a TM. And here we get the TM43 Flame Charge. An, an actual move that I need. I think I've already taught. If you're able to utilize the Flame Charge fully, you'll be able to get uh, have a great battle with the Totem in the next trial. The trial is a lush jungle. Z Power. Is it... Is it the true potential that I seek? Does it surpass the Mega Ring? Apparently there are an uninhibited islands for Pokemon called the Pokemon Pelagio. Here in Alola, Alola is fascinating. I believe that I stay in the Alola for some time. Well then, Draven, I hope to see you again sometime. Hmm. Now, if you guys don't know, Colrus is, I guess, one of the main antagonists in Pokemon uh, Black and White 2. And, well... I guess prior to this recording right here, I think you guys will all will have already known that yes, I came out with Pokemon White too. So we're already we're already like in, in that adventure. So yeah, you'll see a little bit more history on you know Colrus and all that stuff there too. So let's open his door, see what this is all about. Now here we are, and this looks a little odd. This looks a little odd. That looks a little odd. Why, hello, trainer. Looks like you've got a Pokedex on you. How would you like uh, to do a little part-time uh, work for on behalf of the Aether Foundation? Sure! We at the Aether Foundation work to protect Pokemon through conservation. In order to protect Pokemon, though we must know a good deal about them and how they live, right now we are surveying the Stuffle that, or the stu stuffle that live on Route 8. The Foundation is collecting its own data, of of course, but we also would like to know what the data Pokemon, uh, Pokedex records uh, about them. So your job, if you should choose to accept it, would be to register a Stuffle at Route 8 in your Pokedex and then show us the data. We will pay you for the work, of course. I hope you'll help us out. Huh. Stuffle is, you know, the... Stuffle is the teddy bear Pokemon, you know. It looks like a teddy bear. We are the members of the Aether Foundation. We work to carry out conservation efforts and care for Pokemon that have been hurt by bad people like those Team Skull thugs. Slowpoke Cell has fully regrown now, but Pokemon should be like family. Team Skull can't get away uh, can't get away with crimes like this. Really, Team Skull. Okay, so that is that right there. We've already visited them. And, well, let's see. I'm going to be looking towards my, uh, my, my thingy right here. My thing of being my guidebook. And we're going to continue on right here. There's a lot of stuff we need to actually uncover. The totem challenge is going to be ahead in the next episode. But I kind of want to see what we can actually find right here. Now, if we can actually find a stuffle, that would be great. And we're going to be going right here. And let's see what we can actually find. Oh, there's a... Look at that. An item. And it is a big pearl for more monies. And yes, we're going to be jumping through here. That way we don't have to actually battle anybody or, or, or a Pokemon just yet. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, so that is that. And there is a Pokemon trainer, of course. Let's go ahead and start battling, guys. Alrighty, here we go. We are going to be taking on this lady right here, Backpacker Kiana. And, well, let's see what Kiana has to do. She's coming out with her Eevee. Big mistake. And remember, guys, I actually got an Eevee on my PC. And more than likely, I might have a, a, a relic somewhere. Or may have some uh, relic somewhere. So here we go. Let's go with a poison jab. But right here, we're going to be getting in a, a quick attack. So here we go. Dump truck for the win. Defeats Eevee easily. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I'm feeling great about that one. And Terror Ruff is growing levels like crazy, which is great. I like it. I love it. Okay. So that's one. And we're going to be... Wow, he can see us from that far? Attacking from a high place to a low place is as easy as chopping down a bamboo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Let's go. 
We got ourselves a challenge. Rising Star Mikey would like to battle. And, well, look at him coming out with his bounce suite. Oh, look at that. A big old cherry. Just a little cherry. Okay. Let's go with a little bit of a dump truck right here. Dump truck. Let's go with a poison jab attack. And poison jab does its trick. Yeah, buddy. Okay. Alrighty, alrighty. And let's see. Well, he's going to be coming out with a Trump or Trump beak. That sounds familiar. So let's go straight to Puka right here. Sounds like a. Uh, it sounds like a uh, flying type Pokemon. So I gotta be sure. And here we got Puka in its Alolan form, coming out against this. Uh, oh, Trump beak. This uh, Toucan, Toucan Sand. So let's go with a Thunderbolt attack. Man, the combination is great right here with both Psychic and Electric on the, on this Pokemon. And, well, there we go. Rising Star Mikey. Not so happy right now. Not even a Rising Star anymore. And, well, let's see. Let's go right ahead and grab some items. Grab this guy. We found ourselves a Hyper Potion. And, well, let's see. I think there's one close by right here. And, of course, we're going to get attacked by a Pokemon. Oh yes, you gotta love it. You have to love it. And here we are. Here we are getting attacked by an Alolan Radita. And I think I did trade trade a Radita to this guy. So let's go ahead and capture this guy. I want to actually have a Radita on my like on my in my PC. And yes, we didn't. We 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 couldn't move. God damn it! All right, all right. Here we go. And the poison jab takes out this Radita. Okay, so that didn't work out. I gotta be careful with the Pokemon that I trained too. And let's see. Let's go right ahead and move on right here. Getting attacked by another Pokemon, which is great. Okay. Here we have another Radita. So we're gonna get a go at this guy. And what do we have? A level 17? Nope. Kind of wanted the level 20 because, you know, it evolves right there and then. Alright. There we go. We found ourselves another item, which is a Miracle Seed. A great item for Grass-type Pokemon. And, yeah, we're going through the shortcuts right here. I see something else going on right there. So, going to wait for that. And we're going to grab this. And there's a Pokemon under these berries. Now, I don't know if I've ever covered this before, guys, but... If this happens, you'll always be getting a Craw Brawler. Now, off screen, I did catch a Craw Brawler. Kind of wanted to use him on my team, but. Eh, well, you know. Sometimes Draven changes his mind here and there. Sometimes he wants to use some different type of, uh, type of Pokemon. So here we go Shadow Ball. And Craw Brawler survives. And here comes a Bubble Beam from Craw Brawler. It's pretty, pretty cool name, too. Craw Brawler. And here he's coming out with some help. Oh, crud. And nobody wants to help him. Okay. So that's another that's another uh, feature that's been added here into this game is that, you know, Pokemon, because of the totem Pokemon, you can actually see these guys, like, asking for help. Sometimes it gives you a chance to actually capture the Pokemon that you want. Hell, there's only been one occasion where, like, a shiny has ever come into play. And I think, like, in this region, I've captured the most shiny. So that's another thing that you need, you need to... Uh, well, you, you guys would like to hear. And, well, here we go. We're getting some more berries. And, well, let's see. Let's go right ahead and switch out our Pokemon right here. I'm still used to that. Let's go straight for Inferno Blade. Uh, there we go. Move them right here. And, well, let's... I'm going to go ahead and take a look at the, the egg. Again, I want, to, I want to hatch this egg. Let's see. Summary... And it doesn't seem close to hatching. Come on, man. Stop being stubborn. Be born in this episode, please. There we go. And... All right, let's move on right here. Get, to, get into some Pokemon battles. Here we have Trainer Detected. I will now commence the attack. Wow, she sounds like a robot. Kind of sounds like a robot. Okay, here we go. Another Pokemon battle, and it's up against uh, Nikki, and she will be coming out with her Mill Tank. It's a big old Mill Tank. Oh god! So here we go. Flitinder, 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 Inferno Blade. I'm gonna call him Inferno Blade from now on. Okay, so here we go. Fly attack, and well, 
yeah, this guy is uh, getting all pumped up. So here we go. And storing energy. So, yeah, I'm kind of screwing myself just a little bit. So here we go with a fly attack. This one gets it uh, pretty, well, yeah, it, it hits it pretty hard. So let's go again with another fly attack and crap baskets. I thought we were going to go first. And that, well, flame body works on this guy. And, well, we're going to be flying up high. And there goes another burn right there. So let's see. Let's see what happens. Inferno Blade, fly attack for the win, hopefully. And it does it. Takes care of that beefy Nessie right there. And, well, there we go. We have defeated Rising Star Nikki. And, well, our Pokemon's not happy, as you can see. So let's go right ahead and uh, I guess we have to go the, with the comb, right? Yes, we have to go with the comb. Yeah, look at that. I don't know what that's all about right there. And right here. And you are happy. Okay, good, good, good. Let us move on right here. I could give it a bean, but, you know, it's been it's been farting a little, so, yeah. Anywho, let's see. There's more items that we can actually grab, and, well, let's see. I think we can go right here, but we're going to get attacked by a Pokemon. And, yes, we do. We get attacked by a Pokemon. Alrighty, so, here we have another Radita. It's nighttime, guys. You're going to be getting some Pokemon. And, well, let's see. We're going to get the heck out of here because, well, you know, Inferno Blade is, is hurting right now. So, what we're going to do is we're going to heal this Pokemon up. Now, let's see. Right here. Let's go straight for a Super Potion. Gotta love those Super Potions. Gotta stock up on those Super Potions. So, here we go again with Dump Truck getting its Super Potion right there. And, well... Let us move on right here. Grab this. And we got ourselves an Ultra Ball. Something that was highly needed right here. And, well, we're getting out of that. And, yes, we're getting attacked by another Pokemon trainer. Holy crud. Okay. So, anywho, guys. We are back in Pokemon Moon. How do you like the walkthrough so far? I kind of want to know. Now, it is one of our main walkthroughs that we've been, uh, we've been, doozing, uh, we've been uh, using. Uh, if you guys are new to my channel um, the let's see how, how should I explain it the whole the whole spiel or the whole spiel to my channel when I restarted it was go by you know by chronological order and that was you know Kanto all the way to the next generation and all that stuff now we're playing Pokemon Moon now because well there was a little bit of an issue going into you know recording this whole thing I was kinda just trying to figure out how to how to work this oculus VR and didn't work so much and of course we instead opted for Pokemon Sword and Shield which many of you guys already know it's it was a success actually got it done within like two to three months and once I figured out how to use the oculus uh, VR again BAM here we are now since we are playing Pokemon white 2 you guys are, are well I'm gonna fucking tell you this right now yes we are going to be playing Pokemon uh, Ultra Sun once we're done with this walkthrough right here. Now I just don't know when because remember we got like a uh, we got like a crap load of walkthroughs going on right now, especially for the schedule that we have. I'm pretty sure you guys are you guys are gonna be seeing it at some point now, depending on when I actually upload this this walkthrough. You guys will probably have already made the choice on what new walkthrough I should be playing in in the new uh, the new remakes from Pokemon Diamond and Pearl. I'm saying the, the remakes of Pokemon Diamond and Pearl because I completely forget these names every single time. And oh crap, baskets! Well, here we go. We we accidentally switched out and fly for natural gift. Oh, don't worry, guys. I can always reteach that. See, this is what happens when I just talk, okay? All right, so we're done with that guy, and, well, we got another person right here. And what does this say? Fossil Restoration Center is close by. Now, there was another thing, too, that I've I've actually gotten over. At, uh, okay, so here, this guy's like, there's a dude near that says that he wants to make a whole thing full of nothing but Pokemon restored from fossils. Now, we're going to stop our episode right here by going into the uh, fossil restoration area. Now, 
Another thing too that I got while I was uh, you know messing around with Pokemon Sun was all the fossils needed. Why? Because I could and I want to and I want to actually get all the fossil Pokemon. You know, it's, it's a cool thing to actually do. So talk to this guy. He's like, welcome to the Dream Park where dreams become reality and fossils become Pokemon. Do you have any fossils on you? Do you want to turn them back into Pokemon? Yes, I have them all. Look at that. I got all of them, guys. So what we're going to do right here to finish off the episode is to restore all these fossils that I've gotten. And good thing for us is that we don't have to go back and forth to actually wait for these fossils. So there we go. Turn one fossil, and that is a Kabuto. Throwing out that peace sign, guys. Throwing out the peace sign. And, well, let's go ahead and take a look at this Kabuto. Not going to nickname it. Uh, check the summary. I want to see the summary on this Pokemon right here. So here we have Kabuto at level 15. It, it does have some nice moves, starting moves and all that stuff. And I think that's pretty much it right there for him. Now, let's see. Let's see. Just send him to the box. I thought it was going to be on our Pokedex or something like that. So let's see. What, let's see what does this guy say. Someday this whole place is going to be filled with uh, to bursting with Pokemon from ancient past. That's my dream for this, the dream park. To bring ancient Pokemon world back. So... We're going to be doing this again. He's going to be saying the same old spiel. I'm going to be, you know, throwing in Old Amber this time, which is cool. We're going to get an Aerodactyl. Now, now, like, I almost wanted to use Aerodactyl or, you know, the Unovan uh, Fossil Pokemon, but, <laughs> you know, the Unovan Fossil Pokemon, but, like, I, I, I was like, nah, I got Rock Rough and I got uh, Flechinder, so there's no reason. So here we have Aerodactyl. And bam, going into the PC. So I think the reason why Kabuto was uh was not entered to the to the PC or to our Pokédex was because I think we've already got one. So here it is, guys. Another Pokemon, Aerodactyl, the Rock and Flying Pokemon, Fossil Pokemon. In ancient times, it ruled the skies. A widely accepted theory is that it went extinct due to a large meteor impact. It's kind of like right now. I mean, yesterday I did watch Jurassic Park. Pretty cool movie. All right, so that is Aerodactyl. And, well, let's see. Let's go ahead and start, you know, reviving another Pokemon. So we're going to get a total of probably like nine Pokemon right there. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know how to count. So let's go ahead and revive this fossil right here. And that sounds familiar. Turn your fossil back. Hey, here we got an Anorith. Anorith is the Unovan, or not the Unovan, the Hoenn Pokemon, the Hoenn Fossil Pokemon, and no, I do not want to give it a nickname, and I think I've already gotten that Pokemon in my, P in my, uh, in my Pokedex, holy crud, okay, and he's saying the same thing, you know, with me, with me alone, you're probably just going to have a, a whole park and all that stuff, so here we go, we're going to go with the Armor Fossil right here, okay, alrighty, the Armor Fossil. That sounded familiar too, and well, here we go. Turn the Pokemon into Shield Dawn. Pokemon Sword and Shield. That's another Pokemon I could have used in Pokemon Shield. Probably. And yes, here we go with the Pokedex entry. The newest Pokemon, Shield Dawn. This guy. You know, I could give these Pokemon nicknames like Kimberly and Billy, you know, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Here we have Shield Dawn. The Rock and Steel Pokemon. This Pokemon lived in the primeval jungles. Few enemies would have been willing to square off against its heavily armored face. So it is thought. I probably wouldn't have messed with that Pokemon either. It looks like it has like a... What was that? What was that? Adamantium. I think it has Adamantium on its face right there. Alright, so let's go right ahead and get another Pokemon right here. And let's see. What other Pokemon do we have? The Cover Fossil. These guys are not going into in an in order right here, and well, let's see. Turn your fossil to B to Tortuga. Tortuga. Okay, and you know if if things would have gone a little bit differently, this guy would have been Leonardo, you know, for the turtle Pokemon that I have. And well, here we go, Tortuga registered and well let's see we're gonna be going into the pokedex the pro tor turtle pokemon and let's see reputed to be the ancestor of the most turtle pokemon it lived in warm seas approximately a hundred million years ago oh 
Nice. Taking some uh, entries from, like, you know, the real world and all that stuff. Okay. Let's go right ahead and... Let's go right ahead and uh, keep on uh, messing with this thing right here. I know, I know, guys. It's a little long, but... I kind of want to revive all these fossils right here. So here we go. Plume fossil. This is one fossil right here. This is one person or Pokemon that I want. And... Here we go. We got ourselves Arkin. Now... Again, if, you know, the fossils would have been revived a little earlier in Pokemon U, um, Black and White, this Pokemon would have also been a Pokemon I would have used in the, in the walkthrough. So here we go, Arkin, the rock and flying type Pokemon. And let's see, to all appearances flightless, it was able to glide down from tall treetops to snag its prey. It does evolve into a pretty cool Pokemon afterwards. A very, very fast Pokemon. Kind of looks like a dragon, too. And... Well, let's see. Yes, you're saying the same thing all over again. Now, here we go again. Now, if you haven't learned anything from Jurassic Park, is that you, sh you probably shouldn't revive Pokemon. Yeah, like, you probably shouldn't revive Pokemon that, uh, that are extinct. Mainly the dinosaurs, because, well, dinosaurs eat people. Not the herbivores, but the carnivore ones, like the T-Rex. And if you see later on in the other... You know, the other, uh, whatchamacallit, the movies, they do have the ability to evolve. So here we have Tyrant, and I think we've already had Tyrant on our, yeah. Either that or these Pokemon are not supposed to be on, uh, on the Pokedex. I think that's what, what the situation is right now, guys. So, alright, let's go right ahead and grab the last Pokemon right here. And what could that be? Ooh, okay, so that sounds, uh... That sounds loud. And here we have another Pokemon, Amara. So I just realized that maybe they weren't supposed to be on the Pokedex just yet, except for the National Deck. So, oops. My bad. And we're going to send it to the PC. And that right there concludes our episode for today, guys. I know, I know. It's a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. But, got new Pokemon. Got new stuff. Got, uh, you know... Kinda, I kind of, I kind of, I kind of, kind of, I'm kind of interested to see what's next right here. So, thank you guys again for watching. I will see you guys in the next episode as we conclude the rest of the Route 8 area right here. So, thank you guys again. I'll see you guys next time.